everybody, my name is Stephen and welcome to Belize here in the middle of the Caribbean. This has got to be the best place to dive. So what I've done is I'm going to check out Go Eco's diving and marine conservation project and I'll show you guys what you get up to if you decide to volunteer here. Alrighty guys, we are heading out on our first scuba dive. It's always so much fun scuba diving if you guys have never been, do it. Go for a little like test drive. Once you go diving, you honestly will never go back to snorkeling. It is so much better because you get to stay down longer, spend more time observing. He has a little small boat. Yeah, if you don't sketch them. Yeah. We're gonna go do some seagrass samples, come to the island, should be about five to six meters. Ready? Have a See you later. <laughs> Like, do dives, do work, because we were there working out how much seagrass was there, and at the same time, being surrounded by manatees. That's why I think amazing. I love volunteering because you can go do a dive like a tourist, or you can go do a dive and make a difference. And don't worry, guys, if you aren't qualified with your scuba license, you can add an extra week onto the project and you can get your open water and advanced right here in Belize. So, at the moment, we're currently working with the fisheries department so we can give them as much information about the reef so they can make an educated decision on which areas to preserve. So, we're going to go head out on a snorkel, going to go map out the area and see what coral and marine life is out here. So every single morning we would hop on this little dingy boat and head out into the reef and what we would do is we would have 30 meter tape measures and we would line it along the reef and then we'll collect data of what coral we would see, how healthy the coral is, what marine life is living around the coral and then they can use that to tell the fisheries where to not fish and where to not have tourists come so they can look after the reef here. This is shellgrass. This is shellgrass and then this is manatee grass. So here you have all three types. How do you tell the difference between those two? So. Oh, I see. Yeah. One is flat mm -hmm. and one is cylindrical. And which one's the manatee? The manatee is a cylindrical mm -hmm. one, shoal grass is a flat one, and then, and then turtle this grass. is the turtle grass. So it's like fettuccine. Yes. So we just headed out to Shark and Ray Alley and now we know why they call it that. There were so many nurse sharks and so many manta rays. That was one of the best snorkels we've ever done. Warning, accommodation is super rustic. I think this super is one of the most rustic. basic accommodations we ever stayed at. No running water, no electricity yep. and no Wi-Fi. So someone that's been here since March has told us that what we see here, it was so much more primitive She's done some like adjustments. First one that she was super proud of. Put a toilet in, so actually have a toilet and then you just use seawater to flush the toilet and it goes into a bit of a septic tank. So this is the beautiful shower. And then what happens is it's kind of like a camping camp shower. So if you guys have ever been camping, you might have seen one of these. If you've gone really rural, so you fill this up with water, leave it out during the day to warm up and then you just switch it on and you shower in here and then just put this up so no one can see you. And then just in here is where we have been living. Hello. Hello. So we've got a little area here. We've got a little kitchen going on, cooking up some lunch. I think we're making some veggie pasta, which is good. All run through gas. And I'll give you guys a bit of a room tour. So it's all bunks. I'm staying in the top one there. Jess is in this one here. I have to show you the spot that we've been obsessed with. Not margarita mics. I know you guys were thinking that. Ice and beans, they do absolutely incredible iced mochas and these little donuts that are so tasty. That's my type of island cocktail. Ah, thank you so much. Cheers. Oh yeah. If you aren't a coffee lover, these are gonna convince you to come here. Oh, oh. 
So it's the end of the day. We've got ourselves some cocktails. We've got a coconut sunrise, and it kind of does look like a sunrise. But yeah, we just had the sports bar. A cool little tropical vibe to this place. And we're having our first cocktail in the Caribbean. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that little look into what you get up to at this volunteer project. Now, if you want to come out here to Belize and volunteer yourself, head to goeco.org for more information. See you guys next time.